Hi everybody! Welcome to D major scale two octaves for the cello. What you're going to learn in this video are the fingerings to play the D major scale and have a few routines established so you can practice that scale carefully and methodically to make sure that all the habits you're building are good ones. First thing you want to consider, make sure your instrument is in tune. So to get a tuner out on your phone or just go onto your web browser and type in tuner.ninja and your whole screen will turn into a giant tuner that you can check your open strings. Once those open strings are in tune, you want to make sure to get yourself ready for a two octave major scale, which means a couple of things. First off, you have to know what's in the key signature for a D major. D major has two sharps. F sharp and C sharp. That means that every F is now an F sharp and every C is now a C sharp. That means what you see here on the screen is this D, E, F sharp, G, A, B, C sharp, D. Now because we're playing two octaves, that means we're going to repeat those notes two times. Next up, what you're going to see are the fingerings for that scale. Remember, if you see the number one, that means first finger. Here's what 2x means. Normally on the C string, we play first finger D and then third finger E. Well, the problem with playing D major scale is that if I play my fourth finger now, it's F and I need to play F sharp. Well, if I don't use the extension fingering, I'm stuck with this choice. And it's kind of the right note, but I'm on the wrong part of my finger and my pinky is super straight and uncomfortable. So I don't want to have that sort of tension. So cellists do this thing called extension fingering. So we have our first finger on D, normally third finger E, but now instead of third finger E, we substitute that fingering and we put our second finger on E. This is where your tuner comes in real handy because now your second finger has to go someplace it hasn't been. So you can make sure that your E is in tune with your second finger. So you'll see the numbers two followed by the letter X because it's a second finger extension. Now here's what's great about doing extensions. If you move your thumb with the second finger, you get a new balance point. Just like in a teeter-totter, if you move the center of where that teeter-totter is, the weight gets distributed differently. So you've just moved your thumb down and now you can relax your first finger, roll your hand over and boom, you're comfortably and easily on the note F sharp with your fourth finger. Okay, so here are the fingerings for the D major two octave scale. First finger D. Extension, slide your thumb, second finger E. Release that first finger, roll your hand over, relax your hand for fourth finger F sharp. Open G. First finger A. Extension to B. Why? Because you have a C sharp coming up. So you have to get your hand ready for that extension. Move the second finger down, move the thumb along for the ride, second finger B. Now relax your hand, release the first finger, fourth finger C sharp and then open D. Now there are no more extensions. Now it's just the hand position you're comfortable with. First finger E, F sharp, fourth finger G, open A, first finger B, third finger C sharp, fourth finger high D, high D, third finger C sharp, first finger B, open A. Get your hand ready for G. Third finger F sharp, first finger E, open D. Now this is tough because you're building the extension in reverse. So get your hand ready for a fourth finger C sharp, a second finger B. Now get your first finger ready to reach back for first finger A. Open G. Again, you have to reverse engineer. Find that F sharp. And then we have E, and then reach back, first finger D, and the scale is done. Now that you know the fingerings, we're going to go ahead and do a little practice routine. This will only take a couple of minutes. 
I like to have my left hand stay slow so I can really think about where my hand goes and what it feels like to play those notes. I also like to have some sort of tuner nearby so I can make sure the notes I'm playing are accurate. Now, in addition to your tuner, you can always check notes with your open strings. That's a great way to train your ear. I do variations with my bow arm so that I can keep my left hand slow but keep my mind active as I focus on new things with the right hand. Before I start doing any of my scales though, I turn on my metronome. I've set my metronome for 60 beats per minute. This is a great tempo for lots of different variations. You can find these free anywhere. If you type metronome in Google, it just gives you a metronome for free. If you go onto the app store, you just type in free tuner, free metronome. They've got them. So here we go. Half notes for D major. Ready and D, extension E, F sharp, open G, extension, extension B, extension C sharp, D, normal hand position, F sharp, G, A, B, C sharp, your elbow is your elbow up are you on the tips of your finger get ready for C sharp get ready and and good get ready for F sharp twice per note quarter note Extension. Extension. Ready, go. round 16th notes twice per note ritzy and to go e and a and while 
can be fun to go fast. We want to make sure we don't go fast until we really understand what it feels like to play all of those notes in tune. If you go too fast and just repeat incorrect placement, you're just getting better at a bad habit. So remember, you need to go slow to learn fast and just take some time to save some time. Listen, pay attention, set goals. All right, all you humans learning scales on the cello, nice job. And remember, if you practice every day, by the end of the year, you'll be taller.